We're going to do some uh, experiments to show you how the healing brush, which is right here on the toolbar under the crop tool, and how the clone tool work. First we're going to work a little bit with the clone tool over here. There's also a pattern stamp tool, but this is the clone stamp tool. The way the clone stamp tool works is you can change your brush size, remember, with the right and left bracket keys. You see your brush size changes up here. And you can clone either on the same layer or the clone tool works going through all the layers. If I want to create my clone on a separate layer, in case, in case I don't like it, I can throw it into the trash. I click on Sample All Layers here on the Tool Option Bar and I make a new layer for myself. And I have to pick an area, a target area, that I want to clone from. So if I want to clone from the center area of the sunflower, I go here with my brush and I hold the Alt key. You see how it changes there at the end of the cursor? And I click once, left mouse button once, and then I just start painting here. Now you might notice that the painting looks ever so faint, ever so faint. That's because I have the opacity set up here on the toolbar for 19%. Now if I move the opacity up to 55% and I do it again, I'll select here and I'll go up here. You see that's 55% that I have, or I can have it. I can also change the flow. And here's a hundred percent. I'll click here and I'll do it right here. So the clone tool is really, really quite, quite, quite nice and quite useful. You can also use the clone tool. Sometimes it works on the edges but the healing brush tool works a little better. I'll give you an example of how it works. I'll copy this section. I'll make a new file. I'll paste this down. And I'll go in close. And I'll go to the filter, other, offset, and move it around a little bit so you can see where the seamless edges are here. If you click on this Repeat Edge Pixels, you'll see where the edge is. Then back to Wrap Around. So here's where that edge is. You go OK. And then you take your Clone Tool again. We have to make our brush smaller. And hold our Alt key. And see how we can kind of get rid of that hard edge by working with our clone tool. Sometimes this works good if I... depends on what you're trying to remove the edge from. Sometimes I change the opacity. So that's how you can... one way you can get rid of the hard edge when you're trying to make a seamless texture. And also you can use the clone tool the way I showed you over here is when you want to take part of an image and put it in another section on the image. Another tool is this... I, I have this little piece of hair here to show you. We're going to go to Filter, Other, and Offset again. And we're going to move it so that you see where those seams are. And you'll notice that part of this image is light, the, you know, the light qualities are different here. Now, if you use the um, healing brush tool, you can hit your Alt key, and it's a combination of the clone tool, but it also picks up the light qualities. So you see, it kind of blends the light qualities here for you. So the healing brush is an excellent tool to use. Now I keep clicking. See, this is where I want... this is my source, and then this is my destination. 
and if I click here this is my source and this is my destination. So that's how I can kind of keep changing this around and adjusting the light qualities in it and that's how I can really 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 get a nice seamless little print for myself. So this healing brush tool is wonderful for um, making nice seamless edges especially where you have differences in the light and dark and the clone tool is wonderful too for working with seamless edges and taking one the texture from one part of an image and moving it over into another part of an image over here you see and this this also works with the pattern where you can take existing patterns that you already have here are some patterns that I already have here I'll take one that's very obvious and I can paint with that pattern so you can create patterns and you can paint with it so those are some of the uses that you can make for the clone tool, the pattern stamp tool, and the healing brush tool.